hello guys welcome back to the channel this is rabbit and more my name is modin now um i'm an aspiring farmer if this is the first time on this channel this channel is all about livestock personally i've started a journey of keeping rabbits and i have three female rabbits now i'll be adding more to the folks uh to the fold it's been a while since i updated on the rabbits so i'll be giving you guys videos in the next days because there are lots of um different things coming i'm trying to get a new case i'm trying to bring new ones on board as well so i'll keep you updated on that and the other aspect of this whole thing is also catfish farming so i'm trying to merge rabbit farming and catfish farming as well i know i can't be feeding you of these two things alone and so i spend time to go to other farmers to bring you amazing content from there as well and in this video today we are talking about catfish farming how to transfer uh, your juveniles or the fingerlings successfully into a pond now the farm I am on right now is currently is located at Insawam and it's called If Men Were God and it is manned by the man Pedro. Now Pedro uh, has been farming for quite a long time and in his yard, his own home, uh, he has like a very very big pond. Now when I say pond, not just one pond, uh, I must say and I think so far from what I see for the bigger ones, he can have like a total capacity of about maybe 20 25000 um, if i'm if i'm sure uh, if i'm correct to say now uh these very little ones you see over here currently in the shot uh is the one he keeps inside the house where he houses the fingerlings and the juveniles and all that but the ones you see in your shot right now are about 6 to 7 weeks old almost 2 months old right and they still have 4 months more to go until maturity now uh you would see the other side of the pond where we will be showcasing right now how to transfer the fingerlings but before then i'm heading towards uh where the fingerlings are being kept in those plastic basins right there for you to see how they were sorted out so the sorting was done the previous day and i happened to be there uh, the day after to catch it for you guys now personally i went there so i can get some training so i can get educated on catfish farming because i just don't want to start it and be a complete novice i want to have an idea on how to start it properly so that i can walk in through with you guys and i'll give you cost estimations uh exact and be transparent with you guys so that if you want to start you can also start on a good note and uh we can all compare notes and teach it each other and learn from each other that is what this whole channel is about i want to share my flaws i want to share the successes i want to share every little challenge and every triumph i go through so that we can all learn i'm not an expert that's why i keep saying i'm an aspiring farmer now i have another channel called modin m-o-r-d-i-n where i focus on lifestyle travel and also um lands or let's say real estate in ghana which i just began and so if you're interested in real estate in ghana or to buy lands in ghana you can also check it out or you want to look for some cool places to hang out in ghana you can definitely check out on that other channel i also talk to some entrepreneurs and people who are venturing into businesses at uh, in Ghana currently. And so you can also check them out and know what I'm about. So uh, the guy in your shirt right now is taking the first set of fingerlings to the pond. And you guys will see. So what they did practically was first to sweep the pond because it's not that deep. And so to clear all debris of dust and uh, any other thing that may hinder the part of the, the fishes. Now, you know, they are, they are smaller fishes. And so they should be taken care of in a very good way. So... They just open the water for the water to fill it and then now the next thing is to introduce them to the water as you can see in the shot that is what they are doing so uh it's been done by pedro, him pedro himself and uh one of his uh workers over there now these ones i asked him how many he thinks they are right now the one he just poured and he said it's estimated to be between 10 to 12 thousand fishes that's a lot lots of fishes and so if you're out there and you want to start well they do hatcheries too and they can supply you um the fingerlings all the juveniles now you will see the juveniles and the differences now these are the fingerlings they are smaller much smaller but the fingerlings are quite uh bigger and i think it's much easier for someone who wants to try things out to have those ones in the beginning and uh if you're buying for the fingerlings or the juvenile they sell one at one c um which is less than a dollar if way way less than a dollar if you're watching uh, from the united states of the or from the uk of a sort so that is it right here introducing them and before he introduced them to the water he was telling me that usually uh they are stressed out uh the the night before on the sorting because of the way they do it 
the fishes are stressed and this may cause death amongst the fishes and all that stuff and so uh, the treatment for it is that they use uh, some kind of a stress relief powder which is meant for the fishes and then they mix the water also with salt so that the fishes can de-stress uh, or it will ease their stress off and then they will also come up in a very very good way and so um i don't know what you guys think uh but over here the very pipe he's showing me right now has some little holes on it and he was saying that the fishes are too small and they may go through it so he wants to change it and that is the suction you know you may be wondering if the water comes in and they want to empty the water where do they enter uh, empty it from that is the very point where it's being emptied and so another pipe is being brought so that he does the change and i'll show you once it is done i'll show you the holes in it so that you guys will see it now i personally went to pedro to see him so i can learn like i was telling you uh we moved over to my place we came over to my place in the house so i can uh show him what i have to work with he saw the space in the house um the tanks i have available uh as to whether i should go with the poly tanks or the tarpaulin or build something new from the scratch and all that stuff he educated me on all that so he does consultation as well so if you're a farmer out there or you're aspiring farmer or someone who is interested in catfish farming you can link up with him there is also something unique we spoke about which is about investment let's say you are um abroad and you want to venture into catfish farming but you you do not want to create the pond yourself and everything well he has lots of ponds at home where he can lease for you and then you would buy the fishes from him as well and then you'll be giving money for feeding of the fishes and then when harvest time reaches you will come for the fishes yourself and then do whatever you want if you want them exported to the uk to germany france anywhere in europe they can do it as well in the us as well but i think in the us there's a limitation to how much quantity you can bring because there's loads of paperwork to be done and so if you're interested in something like that and you want to supply to the afro shops and all that um you can so you can see the new pipe being changed i'll come back to what i was talking about before you can see the new pipe being changed i'll show you right now the older one so that is the older one right there and you'll see the spacing the holes in there where he was complaining about that the spacing is too much and the fishes could go through and drain out of the water and that is all money you know he's thinking about each and every one today they are worth one city but tomorrow they'll be worth about 17 or 20 cities and if you even smoke them, they are worth about 30 cities or even more, no matter how, uh, depending on how big they are. And sometimes it's per kilo, you know, if a kilo is 17 cities, if a fish weighs about four kilos, then per one fish, you know how much you're getting for a fish. And uh, he was telling me that the trick to all these things is also feeding the fishes very, very well. And so let me come back again to what I was saying before. So um, if you want to supply the fishes to the afro shops uh in 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 all over europe or maybe you have a certain business you want to do you want to do it yourself and all that kind of stuff they will smoke it for you as well they can smoke preserve it and then ship it out to you and so if you want to get into leasing of the pond factor this is the breakdown i'm going to give you right now and so first off you have to rent the pond from them you lease the pond from them for a period of six to seven months and it will cost you five thousand cities five thousand cities now this five thousand cities goes to his pocket because it is his pond and it's about also workmanship so it is workmanship plus leasing of the pond now he's going to be working for you for entire six to seven months and that is his cost for renting of the pond and uh his uh, his his uh, how do you call it the work he put in into the whole project for you now one pond can take up to 3,000 and so estimated 3,000 fishes will cost you 3,000 Ghana city because one is one city. And so you buy the fishes now you are at 8,000 cities. That is for buying the fishes and all. Let me pause and come back again. So the stress relief powder I was talking to you about, that is it. And that is how he's introducing it into the water before the fishes go into it. Now the previous one, he had already done it, but he's doing this one right now. Uh, one of the poly tanks got full and was overflowing so he had to rush to close it quickly and then you will see him back again with the salt treatment so he opens the bag of salt and then starts spreading it into the water before the juveniles were introduced to this very one you can see how he is going about it so that's pedro in the shot very humble man he speaks english so if you need anything i'll leave his 
contact in the comment section below not in the comment section in the description box below so you can contact him uh, for business anything you want to talk about so let me get back to what i was saying so uh, 8,000 cities for the pond, uh, his services, and also for the fishes. And then the next step is how much food will they eat for the whole six months period? Now, it is estimated that per every thousand fish, it will spend about 8,400 cities. 8,400 cities. That is a little over, uh, let's say, um, let's say it's about $1,000, $2,300. Or let's say thousand five hundred dollars for the entire time you know that is for thousand fishes and so if you are going to do three thousand fishes it's gonna cost you eight thousand four hundred times three you get it eight thousand four hundred times three and um in total you are going to be around thirty three thousand something uh cities you get it around thirty three thousand cities to do this whole project and um when when you are done of course mortality rate and all that you will lose some of the fishes uh but in general if they are well fed and they weigh let's say not less than two kilos per fish let's say averagely they weigh two kilos per fish then what you can do is that um if you want to smoke them of course then uh, you can sell one for let's say 30 cities and then you can do the math yourself so each fish will be costing per kilo is is the is the 30 cities i think i believe if i'm wrong let's say well, let me go with the fresh route so for the fresh it's like 17 cities uh for a kilo depending on who you're selling to and so uh 17 cities you would get two of that for one fish because they weigh uh two kilos above so you can do the math yourself and so let's say for mortality sake dead fishes and all that stuff you were left with let's say give and take about 2500 fishes or let's say 2000 fishes usually because he's an expert and he's doing it for you you won't lose that much and so i think you'll be left with around 2500 so you can do the math yourself for the whole thing and then see the business side of that one so there are people who are interested in going through the farming aspects learning everything from the scratch and there are other people who want to also just invest some money and then and then come in there from that angle so he does both give him a call see what works for you and what doesn't work for you like always i am just bringing you information as for trustworthiness you have to vet someone yourself because we have different mechanisms of vet, vetting people and trusting them i am bringing you an opportunity i'm bringing you information that can lead you to do something for yourself don't hold me to any other thing that you didn't check well um we are human beings and we are all there are things that could go wrong i know if you know what i'm talking about and so here um in ghana currently people eat a lot of catfish and one of the biggest markets in africa is nigeria which a lot of people are exporting this man currently exports to europe and also to nigeria and so um if you have a business a good business module on what you want to do this is something you can actually try um i think for his money for the five thousand i don't know if it's fixed or he can do something about it but i think if you have the money just pay him so that he can he can um do it willingly from the heart with a very good heart and uh so that you can have the best out of everything now um these were all the fishes that were introduced i think in total there were maybe about some twenty thousand plus fishes um or maybe thirty thousand. it depends uh, because a lot where the juveniles you can see the juveniles are a lot bigger uh were transferred in here and so that's how it goes typically when you are transferring juveniles onto the farm um like i said i went there for training so that he teaches me but it was quite uh interesting that i met this old person because we never talked about this i just called him up that i want to come for uh some training and information from him to to kind to seek advice let me put it that way as for the training to come with time when i am ready to start everything now for me I opted to go with the uh, tarpaulin version. He, he said the local one is cheaper. They make it with PVC pipes and it's very cheap to do, but it's stronger, especially the fact that the foreign ones, uh, when something pokes it, uh, it, it, it bursts and you will lose it or you, 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 your fishes will not be able to survive and all that kind of stuff. And so it needs to check. I was also thinking of the white polytank with the metallic structure around it, but he advised me against it and says, you see those concrete structures you're seeing? 
are the best way to go. Uh, he has the concrete structures. He has um, the other one, which is directly in the mud, where he just digs a hole in the ground and keeps them over there. I didn't ask him about how he changes the water. But if you guys are interested in having an in-depth um, conversation with him, I can do that in the comment section below. Just let me know the questions you have, what you would like to know. I can go back there again, sit with him. We go in-depth in everything so that we see what it takes to be a catfish farmer like i said he's very handy he's very uh open and ready to share information to all of you guys and so yeah let's just do it um i want us to interact in the comment section below uh ask me questions suggest things because we are all learning i'm just documenting my journey on this whole agricultural thing and i hope that uh, a year from now i'll be able to look back and be like wow this is how far i have come currently i have three rabbits I brought you some videos from the grass cutter farm. I've seen all your comments and all that stuff. It's beautiful. I like it. Now, in this shot right now, you will see some dead fishes as well. Now, it's due to um, the stress that they went through. And so he tells me that once they die, you don't pick them out of the water because they are cannibals. They would feed on the fishes themselves, the dead ones. Um, the strong ones will feed on them. And so... I mean, you don't have to even take them out and you just leave them like that. And those are some of the things. Now, um, let's say about 10,000 that were transferred, about maybe, uh, I, I can count barely about 50 that are dead. And so this, this is how some of the things are. But then they will also not put everything inside for you. So let's say you buy 5,000, they will usually add maybe about 500 pieces to it for you uh, of a sort. So it reduces the mortality so that you can get um, a, a unique amount of fishes to do so my name is modin i hope this video was insightful enough it was um good for you if you have questions kindly do in the comment section below uh you can check my other channel also like i said i do lifestyle travel and real estate related videos i also speak to entrepreneurs who are starting out if you're a farmer out there and you want me to cover your farm and you have something livestock related and you want to share to also put your contact out there so people can purchase from you, kindly hit me up at modine.b uh, at outlook.com. That is my email address. I'll put it again in the comment section below. Uh, oh, sorry, I keep saying comment section in the description box so that you can have a look at it and send me an email and then maybe we can extend numbers and then we can take it out from there or i'll get a separate number and just use it out there for you guys to contact me anytime you want to contact so we can get this thing underway have a good one and i hope this has been very good for you guys enjoy your day and stay blessed peace out